The European Spallation Source, or ESS, is a research infrastructure where tiny particles, called neutrons, are used to look deep inside the structure of materials, helping us understand the world via its smallest building blocks. ESS is located in the outskirts of Lund, a university city in the south of Sweden with a long, rich history. It's built on the border between the city and the countryside on 70 hectares of land, and it is here the future will be formed. This is where it all starts. Plasma is created from hydrogen gas as protons are separated from the electrons in the ion source. These protons are then steered into the accelerator where they are bunched, focused and accelerated to speeds approaching the speed of light. The 600 meter long accelerator is divided into a warm section, a cold section and a section set aside for future upgrades. In the cold section, the protons are accelerated through superconducting cavities inside cryomodules. A cryogenic distribution system provides liquid helium cooled down to a temperature of 2 Kelvin. Radio frequency power, giving the kick needed to move the protons forward in pulses, is produced in klystrons, powered by modulators. This power is fed from the Klystron Gallery to the underground accelerator tunnel via waveguides installed through chicane-shaped ducts. When high-energy proton pulses hit the tungsten target wheel, neutrons are released from the nuclei of the tungsten atom in a process called spallation. A moderator collects and slows down the neutrons before they are guided to the scientific instruments. This is where the science takes place. ESS has three instrument halls surrounding the target. The largest is for instruments located up to 160 metres from the target. The neutrons are guided to each instrument where they pass through the sample that has been carefully positioned by the researchers. The neutrons interact with the atoms and molecules inside the material and detectors surrounding the sample measure the neutrons to see how they have changed. Fifteen individual state-of-the-art instruments are currently being built, with another seven named and planned to be added at a later stage. Each instrument is tailor-made by scientists for scientists to make the most of the neutrons. As a facility focused on the users, ESS will provide the scientists with beam time at an instrument, as well as a dedicated scientist who will help these visiting researchers make the most out of their time at ESS. Research using neutrons helps advance modern technology and solutions of today and paves the way for new, more durable materials for the demands of the future. Studying materials at the atomic level with the help of neutrons will provide the knowledge needed to develop new and better materials. These could have uses in new energy sources, storage and transfer, for better computer processing speeds and capacity, as well as medicines and sustainable materials, to name but a few. We will deepen our understanding of the world around us and perform research on scales never seen before. Together, we're on our way to change the world for the better.